Hey folks, Nick the nurse here. Today we're going to be talking about some of the nursing interventions that you might encounter on your nursing school exams or on your NCLEX that deal with the nursing disorder of hypernatremia. Now, with hypernatremia, one of the very first nursing interventions you want to keep at the forefront of your mind is to monitor the dang sodium levels. Remember, 135 to 145. If they're above 145, the patient's going to be suffering for, from uh, hypernatremia. You want to monitor that electrolyte level as well as the patient's daily weight because if you'll recall in the risk factors and causes video, one of the things that we talked about was the patient who has hyperkalemia might develop it as a result of losing a lot of fluid. So make sure that you monitor the patient's weight as well as their fluid level through intake and output. You want to encourage the patient to increase their oral water intake, very important as well, and teach the patient to avoid foods that are high in sodium. Extra important as well, dietary um, considerations are very big in hypernatremia. The patient also needs to be looked at um, for uh, seizure precautions because patients who suffer from hypernatremia are at risk for developing seizures. All extremely important, make sure that you memorize these and understand these to do well both on your nursing school exams and on your NCLEX. Again, my name is Nick the Nurse. I'd like to thank you for watching my video today. If you'd like to check out any of my other completely free videos, they're all at www.nickthenurse.com or you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, Nick the Nurse. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.